straight points for Air Force. Columna scores and a foul. Karen Columna with a nice move inside, putting on the moves against Josephine Ong. Karen Columna with a fadeaway shot. Ong with the ball against Del Carmen. Ong with a drive. Ong hits he do and one. Josephine Ong hangs in the air to score that layup. Ong escapes Del Carmen and look at that. Josephine Ong with that difficult layup. Oh, what a crossover there by Del Carmen. Del Carmen is good! Okay, crossover move by Del Carmen producing a basket leaving the defender behind. Oh, with 10 on the shot clock. Oh, give it a basketball. Oh, pass to Joey Bora. Touch pass, Mendoza open, and she scores! What a play by the Philippine Navy. Go for gold, another look. Easy two points for Janelle Mendoza. And Alicia the inbounder. Siat takes the free throw jumper. Good! April Siat converts! April Siat giving the gig the victory. Ang ipaglalaban Ano mang panganib Di alintana Di matiti Pinag aming kagiti Mga isla na puspos ng gilad Nakatagan na aming sinumpaan Pamumuno, pinagyaman na ang kasaysayan. Kabayapaan, kasaganaan, alay ng hukbong dagat. Dakilang mandaragat naglalayan. Matatapang na mandirig malumalaban Walang takot na maglilingkot Handang ipagtanggol ating kalayaan Iyaw ng mandaragat Huya, 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 huya Ikaw ng mandirig ma Uwa, 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 uwa Araw man o gabi sa lupa o dagat man Magkaisa tayo sa hukbong
Turns three for women's basketball. Game two semifinals between the Lady Sailors and the Lady Air Defenders. On the WNBL 2022 season, ang tunay na liga ng atletang Pilipina. Let's make way for the starting five. First, for the Philippine Navy, go for gold, Lady Sailors. Forward number zero, Toby Borja. One guard number 21, Joe Ong. Forward number 11, Za Mateo. Playing center number three, CJ Senyo. And at shooting guard number two, Andrea Tonko. Philippine Navy go for gold. Lady Sailors head coach is Emilia Vega. Now the starting five for the PSI. Starting at guard number six, Susai Avila. Also at guard number seven, Fria Bernardo. Forward number 28, Angel Ortega. Also at forward number 17, Ana Buendia. Coming in at center number 10, Ambi Almazan. PSI Lady Air Defenders is led by Alvin Zuniga. Referees for this ball game are Jason B. Pinoso, Junel Busse. And we have with us soar high or sail forth between the Navy Lady Sailors and the PSI Lady Air Defenders. Take a look at the starters for the Lady Sailors. Ong, Tonko, Seno, Mateo, and Bora for the Lady Air Defenders. Bernardo, Avila, Almazan, Ortega, and Buendia. Those are your starting lineups for, those, for both military teams who are facing off in Game 2 of the semifinals in the WNDL. The Navy Lady Sailors, a quick start for Philippine Navy, courtesy of Ong. A near turnover that time by Almazan on the other end. Bernardo, yes. Quick retaliation for the Lady Air Defenders. PSI Air Force finishing the eliminations as the number two seed and living up to their expectations after winning that first game, game one of the semifinals, a three point victory against the Navy Lady Sailors last Sunday. And they are trying to continue the hot streak. They are actually the hottest team in the WNBL right now. They have won their last seven games dating back to the elimination round. So we can, we'll see if they can sustain this hot push as they are now on top by two points. Almazan, turn around, lay up, no go. Tonko on the other end. Tonko side stepping her way inside. Showing why she is a national team player and a gold SEA Games gold medalist in the South in Hanoi, Vietnam just last month. Jumper for the Lady Air Defenders. Doesn't fall. Chovi Borja. Cross court pass, a bit too long that time. Pass intended to Tonko. Doesn't get to the intended receiver. As you take a look, Andrea Tonko escaping her defender. Easy deuce for the national team guard. Ong with a near steal. PSI keeps it alive. Avila, pull up J is good. Tonko signaling a number one play. Mateo, three. What a shot. Mateo giving the. 
Ortega looking for Bernardo inside Bernardo appeared to not expecting that pass but she still gets to catch it and finishes that deuce Mateo saves it ends up in the hands of Borja KD air defenders on the counter attack Bernardo inside and the steal by Ong baseball pass to the other end Mendoza doesn't get doesn't catch it but they keep possession As Bernardo gets warned for resentment to a call. Mendoza, one of the missing pieces in their last game for the Lady Sailors. Tonko. Outside, three is good. Lomogda. An early spark off the bench for the Navy Lady Sailors to tie it up at 10. Almazan on top of the key. Now it's Bernardo on the wing. No good. Lady Sailors on the counter. Tonko stop and pop three. No good. And then Dia gets the rebound. Aguila stop and pop. Yes. Tough shot. Still gets it to go. Lomogda moving it around. And ball goes out of bounds. Pass deflected by Almazan, so the ball stays with the Navy Lady Sailors. Again, that three pointer brought to you by Mateo, or Lomogda rather. Mendoza, mid-range J, in and out. Pauline Day with the rebound and another three. Lomogda, quick to heat up after coming off the bench early in this game. As the Lady Sailors now on top by one. Less than four minutes and 30 remaining in the opening period. Ball stays with PSI. Again, this replay. Lomogda back to back three point hits. No need to warm it up from the bench. Uh, Lomogda gives them the lead. And the foul was called. Mendoza gets called for a foul. Ambi Almazan troops to the foul line for two. She hits the first one. There's the reinforcement coming in for the Lady Air Defenders. Bernardo taking a breather. A miss on that second free throw. Lomogda thought about another three. Mendoza kicks it out. No good on that three. Brillante taking a breather.
as Antiquiera in the game for Lady Sailors. ADR defenders now. Along on that jumper. And ball goes to Navy. Fast break opportunity and the foul was called. As Buendia tries to prevent that fast break opportunity. As Karen Columna coming in the game for Ana Buendia. Mendoza for three. No good. Antiquiera the rebound. Mercado inside. Pauline Day. Soft touch. Still no go. And ball ends up in the hands of Texon. Almazan. Getting hounded by Mendoza. Ball is loose. Ball stays in Almazan and she draws the foul. As Mendoza gets called for another foul. Two early fouls by Mendoza. As Mendoza going to the bench for much deserved break. Mendoza also coming out due to her two fouls. Texon, turnaround is good. Daphne Texon scoring to give the Lady Air defenders the lead. Lomogda. Antiquiera for three. Gets it to go. Trixie Antiquiera gives the Lady Sailors back the lead. Approaching the two minute mark of the opening period. As Cindy Rosol was that Cindy Rosoltai? Yes, that was. She draws the foul. And the first one is up and in. Tonko coming back in the game for Lomogda. Two for two from the foul line by Cindy Rosultai. As the Lady Air Defenders get the lead back. Seesaw affairs so far in this last part of the first quarter. Colin Day jumper no good. Pike now on now on the court for the Lady Air Defenders. She thought about it. Texon for three. And she gets it to go. Daphne Texon. Again, a seesaw ball game now with the Air Lady Air Defenders taking a four-point lead. Antiquiera, they move the ball around. But the Lady Air Defenders get a steal and the fast break opportunity completed by Karen Columna. And just like that, it's a six-point lead for the number two seed PSI Air Force Lady Air Defenders and that Gatorade fast break was brought to you by Gatorade. Nothing beats Gatorade.
And we're back to the ball game. The number two seed Air Force Lady Air Defenders now on top by six points after a seesaw ball game and they try to finish this quarter on a strong note but Auntie Kiera has other plans as she buries that three-point bomb to cut the lead to three. Columna inside. The shot is good. That's Abraham. And on the other end, he check by Trixie Antiquiera, but she gets the ball again. Tonko. They move it around. The sh shot is no good. Another offensive rebound. Tonko this time. Still no go. Another opportunity for the Navy Lady Sailors. But the ball gets stolen. Ball is loose. And it's Helter Skelter basketball in the early goings. And the final buzzer sounds of the first quarter with the PSI Air Force Lady Air Defenders protecting a 24 to 19 lead. Ambi Almazan has been one of the keys so far. Andrea Tonko giving the Lady Sailors some of the lead early on before the uh, Air Defenders went on a run to take that lead. So we'll see if they get this lead again in the second quarter. And we're back to the ball game. Take a look at Trixie Antiquiera. She has potential for long bombs, if, if evidenced by their game one, or actually their first round matchup in the regular season, where she had 17 points on five of eight shooting from three point range and three offensive rebounds. But in their game one affair in the semifinals, she only had two points as she missed all of her three point field goal attempts on top of two rebounds. Now she's trying to bounce back from that struggle in the game one. Already with a three point conversion in this game two. So we'll see if she can keep it up and be a factor or a potential for long bombs for the Navy Lady Sailors. Inside. And Cindy Rizzo as Pai gets called for that foul. Mateo, troops to the foul line for two. Zal Mateo getting that first free throw to go. She misses the second free throw. Mateo already with four points in the ball game. But she is rewarded one more free throw after that lane violation by the ref. And she gets it to go. Five points already for Zal Mateo trying to keep the Lady Sailors within striking distance. Decides to pass it the last minute. And the Lady Air Defenders draw that foul. As Christine Abraham now on the foul line for two. She misses the first, however. Mas Fria Bernardo checking back in to give some added firepower for the Lady Air Defenders as Abraham gets the second charity to go. Six point lead for 
PSI Air Force. Mateo. Bernardo completes the steal. Bernardo for three. No good. Tonko the rebound. Tonko on the counter. Ong with the dipsy do shot and she gets it to go. What a shot. And the foul. Ong troops to the foul line for that bonus shot. Fast break opportunity. Nice dish by Andrea Tonko and the solid finish. Nice concentration that time by Ong. Evading that long arms by the defender to complete it and drawing the foul. Yeah, the bonus free throw is good. Three point play converted for Josephine Ong to cut the lead to three points. Foul call, that's on Andrea Tonko. Abram coming out of the ball game after providing some solid minutes for PSI. Almazan is also back in the game. No good on that short stab. Pressure being shown by the Lady Air defenders. And they complete the steal. Now it's Resultai. Draws the foul. That looks like on Mateo. Jal Mateo. Blocking foul call on Mateo. Preventing that fast break by Cindy Resultai and the rest of the Lady Air defenders. Bernardo calling time as the PSI Lady Air Defenders talk it over. Back to the ball game, Ambi Almazan trying to sustain her solid presence for the Lady Sailors or the Lady Air Defender. She had 12 points and some other statistics to lead the way for the Lady Air Defenders as they try to go for a sweep in this best of three series and get the first place or first spot in the WNBL Finals. And the winner of this series will go up against the, the winner of the series between the Philippine Army Lady Battalion and the Taguig Lady Generals who won game two earlier, a 12 point victory to send the series to a deciding game. So we'll see if PSI can pull off a sweep. Or we'll see another series that goes to the limit. Columna for three on top of the key, in and out. They get the offensive rebound. Almazan loses it. Lady Sailors on the counter. Tonko to Antiquera. Step aside three, no good. They maintain possession and foul was drawn. Almazan gets called for that foul. CJ Senor. CJ Senor short on that first attempt.
another short attempt so it's an empty trip for CJ Senyo could have been a three point lead but still it's a five point game for the Lady L defenders Aguila yes Aguila soaring high on that play to give the Lady Air Defenders a 7 point lead Antiquiera for 3 short battle for the loose ball and Resultai appeared to get hurt on that play but Andrea Tonko there is that 3 but again Cindy Resultai appeared to hurt his head on that play after that loose ball battle Take a look at it again. Resultai hitting her head on the floor after diving for that loose ball. Trying to shake it off as they try to maintain this lead. Resultai gets it to go. Cindy Resultai. Parang walang nangyari dun. Shaking off the, the, he, the hit on her head. To give them back a seven point lead. Well, Almazan gets called for another foul. Already 14 fouls for the Lady Air Defenders. The Lady Sailors try to push. PSI to the penalty with still less than six minutes remaining in this first half and out of bounds ball stays with Philippine Navy Josephine on signaling a play Tonko for three no good Almazan the rebound Lady Air Defenders pushing it Resultai, the shot, no good. Senya the rebound. Tonko. Using the Senya screen. She has an advantage against Almazan. He decides to pull the trigger, doesn't get it to go. Resultai pushes it. And Almazan doesn't get it, the pass. But they retain possession. As the reinforcements, the spark plugs off the bench coming in for the lead. Josephine Ong setting it up. Ong inside. Senyo turn around. No good. Almazan keeps it. But she steps out of bounds. As Josephine Ong coming out to take a rest. Mercado thought about it. Mercado. Back outside. Back to Mercado. Mercado floater. Gets it to go. Bernadette Mercado. Trimming the lead to seven points. Avila getting bothered that time by Mercado. Fria. Hounded by the defense and the Navy Sailors on the attack. Cass decides to take it by herself. No go. But Pauline Day was there to clean up the mess. And the lead is down to five. Ortega. Bernardo. Avila on top. Back to Bernardo. Wing three-pointer. Doesn't fall. Mercado the rebound. Polinde floating in. And it's out. Ball stays. Is the Lady Sailors.
As Mendoza coming back in for CJ Senyo. Mendoza turn around, gets denied that time by Buendia. They keep possession. Mercado looking for someone to pass to. Now it's Cass. Cass inside. Did she run out of time? She did. Shot clock violation that time by the Lady Sailors. As the Lady Air Defenders protect a five point lead. Coach Emelia Vega looking on and trying to lead the Lady Sailors to a victory in this game to send this one to a sudden death game three. They go inside. Back outside to Texon for three. No good. Mendoza keeps it. Now it's Lomogda. Maybe Lady Sailors now. Mercado cross court. Mercado trying to escape Ortega. But loses the leather. And ball ends up in the hands of Abraham. Gundia Paig inside Ortega flips it up, flips it in Ortega gets the bucket to go Lady Air Defenders back up by 7 less than 2 minutes left in the first half Pauline Day turn around and she draws the foul Take a look at this Ortega shot again. She flips it up and gets it to go. That's pulling day now on the foul line. She gets the first one to go. Navy backward, starting backward, coming back in. Or the top two guards, talking about Andrea Tonko and Joe Ong, back on the court for the Lady Sailors as they try to trim this lead further. Pass. Lady Sailors. Mateo keeps it. Now it's Arai. Coach Ewan Arai now in the ball game for the Navy Lady Sailors, a former national standout. Ibrahim. Texon on top of the key. Not using the Abraham screen. And the ball is loose. And turnover for the PSI Lady Air Defenders. Solid defense that time by the Navy Lady Sailors, forcing Texon to commit that turnover. Less than 31 seconds left in this first half. Tonko. Inside. Borja against Abraham, forcing it, and still gets it to go. Chobi Borja, cutting the lead to just three points. PSI trying to keep this lead. Three, less than three seconds left. Texon gets the shot, and appears to be a foul also. Referees will review this play, but it appeared on the first look. It went in and it counted. So we'll take a look at it again. Abraham gets it inside. Texon. There was a foul. Clear foul, but let's see if that the score was counted or the shot was counted. Looks good. 
from here still more than a second or less than a second left on the clock looks like she got it off on time official still making sure with this review and commissioner Edward Aquino calling the shots here appears to be they're gonna put some more time on the clock again Abraham finding Texan inside the cutting Texan who surely got it off in time and there was a foul so bucket and the bonus for Daphne Texon and Zal Mateo getting called for a flagrant foul on that time for undercutting so she's forced to sit on the bench for some a few minutes a huge blow for the Navy Lady Sailors we're in the late stages of the first half as Texon waits to take her bonus charity Uh, Senyo coming in the ball game for Zal Mateo after that flagrant foul called. 0.3 seconds left on the first half. And the first, and the free throw is good for Daphne Texan. And they keep possession. But the lady air defenders still want to talk it over. And we're back to the ball game. The Lady Air Defenders trying to make a last ditch possession even with just 0.3 seconds left in this first half. Can they add to this six point lead? We'll see. And they run out of time as Abraham doesn't get the shot off on time. Still. It's a solid first half for the PSI Lady Air Defenders. A six-point lead for Air Force as Avila, one of the bright spots for PSI Air Force already with 10 points on a perfect shooting from the field. We'll see if she can sustain this push in the second half.
three points for Air Force. Columna scores and a foul. Karen Columna with a nice move inside, putting on the moves against Josephine Ong. Karen Columna with a fadeaway shot. Ong with the ball against Del Carmen. Ong with a drive. All gives he do and one. Josephine Ong hangs in the air to score that layup. Ong escapes Del Carmen and look at that. Josephine Ong with that difficult layup. Oh, what a crossover there by Del Carmen. Del Carmen is good! Okay, crossover move by Del Carmen producing a basket, leaving the defender behind. Oh, with 10 on the shot clock. Oh, still with the basketball. Oh, pass to Joey Bora. Touch pass. Mendoza open. And she scores. What a play by the Philippine Navy. Go for gold. Another look. Easy two points for the Nel Mendoza. And so here. Alicia, the inbounder. Siat takes the free throw jumper, goes! April Siat converts! April Siat giving the gig the victory. And we're back to game two of the WNBL semifinals between the Lady Air Defenders who are on top by six points against the Go For Gold Philippine Navy Lady Sailors. And we have with us our special guest, our EVP, the NBL MB EVP, Mamros Montreal. Mamros, good evening. First of all, before I ask you what's in store for us, uh, how, how do you like the crowd earlier in the NBL Youth? The NBL Youth 19 under. Uh, with regards to WNBL, we just finished the first group uh, semifinals, wherein Taguig will now be advancing to the finals. And we're just waiting for the result of this uh, game after the interview, and then we'll know whether we'll have a necessary game for the next weekend on June 12, or one of the participants in this game will advance to the finals to compete with Taguig Lady Generals. With regards to the NBL, tonight also will be our last day of uh, quarterfinals or playoffs, and we'll know we'll know on later who's going to advance to the semifinals. So, how exciting are the next weekends going to be? Yeah, Carlo, it's going to be very very exciting because I have a lot of good news to all our NB mga ka NBL, ka WNBL, ka NBL youth. Number one, we're going, we just concluded our decision with the board together with Chairman Celso Mercado and Vice President for Basketball Operations, Mr. Aquino, that we will continue a second conference for the NBL youth once we open the second conference, the Chairman's Cup of the NBL and the second season of WNBL. So we'll continue with the program of 14 under, 16 under, and 19 under and the NBL junior. With regards to WNBL, we'll not only hold WNBL 3x3 as a professional league, we're going to strengthen the presence of WNBL 3x3 25 under, 25 under, uh, a non-pro league and 
we're going to launch our WNBL D-League. That's why in this interview, I'm going to invite everyone. It's an advanced information to those who are interested to be part of the WNBL family. We're going to host a WNBL Summit really very, very soon. Uh, we'll announce it here in all our games with regards to the details of the WNBL Summit. So stay tuned. Ako, marami pang ano mga would, would you like to add some greetings na ano uh, to our uh, viewers? Uh, I'm not going to greet any viewers or whatsoever, but I'm going to thank all the NBL teams, the NBL youth teams, and the WNBL teams. Thank you for the trust and confidence, and rest assured, the next conference of the three leagues, NBL, WNBL, and NBL youth, will be more exciting compared to this season. Yan lang, Carlo. Maraming salamat. There you have it, Ma'am Rose Montreal, our EVP, the bearer of good news. So stay tuned and stay tuned for the second half of Game 2 of the Navy Lady Sailors and the KSI Lady Air Force Defenders. back to game two of the WNBL semifinals between the Lady Air Defenders and the Lady Sailor soar high or sail forth. So far it has been soaring high for the Lady Air Defenders as Ambi Almazan and the rest of PSI has have gone up in this first half protecting this close lead but Navy Lady Sailors are nowhere near over as they are trying to avoid a sweep in this best of three series continue to take a look at the highlights Josephine Ong one of the highlights of that game but Avila also making her presence felt with those inside incursions for the Lady Air Defenders 
Mercado. That floater has the Lady Air Defenders. Take a look at the halftime stats. The Lady Air Defenders pouring it on from the field. A solid 62% from the field. 17 of 27 compared to just 35% by the lady sailors so that has been the story of the ball game on top of the points in the paint 26 to 10 advantage for the lady air defenders now take a look at the leading scorers avila has been showing the way for psi as alongside texon and rusultai so the rest of the less of the lady air defenders will try to sustain this push in the start Oh, the third quarter and the second half as we are moments away from the third quarter and now we're off PSI again trying to go for a sweep in this best of three series while the Navy Lady Sailors trying to extend this to a sudden death as Karen Columna Giving the Lady Air Defenders a solid start, but Ewan Arai quickly retaliating for the Lady Sailors. Still down by seven points. Tonko completes the fast break opportunity, cutting the lead to five. Pressure being shown by the Lady Sailors. But Bernardo gets it across. Jumper is good! Back to back three. Karen Columna heating up early on for the Lady Ed. Another three. A bit wide on that shot. Bernardo sing signaling a play. The Sultai forcing it. Loses the leather, but Almazan was there. The shot a bit strong on that shot. As the Lady Sailors get the possession. As Bernardo, or Columna rather, early to heat up for the Lady Air Defenders in the third quarter. Joe Ong trying to keep possession, but she steps out of bounds. Bernardo directing traffic. Bernardo to Almazan inside against Senyo and she loses possession. Referee said the ball touched her foot. And the ball goes to the Navy Lady Sailors. Tonko using the screen. Two screens inside to Senyo. Turn around. No good. But a foul was drawn by Senyo. Columna gets called for that foul. As Senyo gets the first free throw to go, And Arai after a giving some spark off the bench. Almasan retaliating on the other end. Mendoza. Tonko for three. No good. Out of bounds. Talking about Lomogda. Wasted possession that time by the Lady Sailors. As Air Force still up. By seven, eight points, rather. Six minutes left in the third quarter. 
Columna putting the moves on Tonko. Do they keep possession? No. Ball goes the other way as Columna turns it over. Mercado coming in for Andrea Tonko. Mercado. Ball stolen. Bernardo, now it's Almazan. Almazan fumbles, but he, she draws the foul. Josephine Ong gets called for that foul. Bendia coming back in. Six point lead for the Lady Air Defenders. Priya looking for Almazan. Wants an isolation. Josephine Ong with a nice anticipation and the steal. And she gets the bucket to go and the bonus. Joe Ong coast to coast. Defense into offense. Josephine Ong absorbing the contact by Columna and still getting it to go. And the foul. Nice conversion that time for Joe Ong. A chance for a three point play. And three point play opportunity converted by Joe Ong to cut the lead to just three points. With four minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter. We'll see if the Lady Sailors can continue this comeback. back to the ball game Joe Ong has been striving to steady the ship for the Lady Sailor she had 11 points 5 assists that negated her 7 turnovers in their last game and the uh, Lady Sailors need to keep her presence going she has already has 10 points on 4 of 4 shooting 2 assists and 2 steals as the trainer tries to get away that bleeding some bleeding on that on her face they need her healthy in this game to keep them alive as Jessica Polinde gets called for a foul Polinde takes a breather Texon, Almazan inside to Resultai. Bernardo hounded by Antiquera. No good. Aaron three that time by Fria. Mateo on the other end. Now it's Mendoza. Loses the leather. Another wasted possession by the Lady Sailors. As the Lady Sailors talk it out.
And we're back to the ball game. Take a look at the nice crowd watching game two of this WNBL semifinals between the Navy Lady Sailors and the PSI Air Force Lady Air Defenders. Both teams giving the fans a treat with this exciting ball game. Now in the latter stages of the third quarter. Mercado for three. She gets it to go. Bernadette Mercado cutting the lead now down to, to just two points. Texon, Mendoza with the steal. Mercado on the break. And Bernardo denies that fast break opportunity, but the Lady Sailors keep possession. Lady Sailors moving the ball around, ends up in the hands of Mercado for the wide open three. As the Lady Sailors get called for backing violation. Lady Air Defenders have a chance to restore some order. Bendia. Now it's Tria Bernardo. Bendia, the three. Tries her hand, no good. Takes on the rebound. against Antiquiera. Now it's Almazan, the shot. No good, but she draws the foul. And the first free throw is good for Ambi Almazan as the Lady Air Force coaching staff Surely happy with their performance so far. But if they can keep it, then he'll be happier. Although um, Almazan misses the second free throw. Still, it's a three-point lead for the Lady Air Defenders. Chovy Borja converts on that possession. Full court pressure being shown by the Lady Sailors. Ball is loose. Ball stays with the Lady Air Defenders. Bernardo takes her hand at the three and she gets it to go. Fria Bernardo restoring some order for the Lady Air Defenders as the lead is back to four. Senyo inside, yes. CJ Senyo finding an opening for that deuce. Less than a minute left in this third quarter. Lead is down to two. Texon draws the foul. As Chovy Borja trying to provide some much needed offense for the Lady Sailors in their comeback bid against the number two seed, the Lady Air Defenders. Texon hits the first. Reinforcements coming back in. Joe Ong, Ewan Arai, and Zal Mateo back in the ball game for the Lady Sailors. Texon short on the shot. One of two from the foul line. Arai inside. That's Borja, no good. Arai, the offensive rebound. And Mateo, 
stepping out of bounds. Still a three point game. Lady Air Defenders with the lead. An errant pass by Fria Bernardo. Doesn't get to Texon. As the Lady Sailors call for time. Long three, no good. On the rebound, last chance in this quarter. No good for Andrea Tonko. As the Lady Sailors unable to score on that last shot. Lady Air Defenders protecting a three point lead heading into the fourth quarter. And we're back to this exciting game two ball game against between the PSI Air Force Lady Air Defenders and the P and the Go for Gold Philippine Navy. As we mentioned earlier, the Lady Air Defenders are the hottest team in the WNBL right now. After losing their first two games in the elimination, they have won their last six games in the regular season on top of their first game in the semi-finals so they have been on a seven game winning streak so we'll see if they can keep up this winning streak on the way to a finals berth Columna quick start for Karen Columna giving the Lady Air Defenders a six point lead Tonko for three, no. Pike the rebound. And ball stays with the Philippine Navy. Foul was called, but looks like on Avila. The last one of the has been one of the key figures in the early goings in this game. Heating up early for the Lady Air Defenders, but Chovy Bora was there to cut the lead to four points. And defense, solid defense shown by Andrea Tonko as Pai commits a turnover and a backing violation for the Lady Air Defenders. Lisa Pai takes a seat as Fria Bernardo gets back to the game. Borja wants a clear out. Borja all the way and she gets it to go and the foul. Bucket and the bonus. Chovy Borja Rewarded despite that isolation play. Taking it all by himself as she blows by Abram. Abram takes a seat 
as Ambi Almazan gets back into the ball game. Bonus free throw, no good for Borja. Columna on the other end. Almazan scoops it up, scoops it in. Ambi Almazan. Instant offense in her return. Four point lead for the Lady Air Defenders. And also defense shown by Almazan with that block. Doing it on both ends is Ambi Almazan. Bora thought she had an open shot, but Almazan was there to deny. Officials reviewing this last play. At a little less than eight minutes remaining in this fourth and final quarter. Lady Air Defenders protecting a slim lead. The Sultai. Bernardo using the Almazan screen. Bernardo owing all the way. No good. Resultai the rebound. Second chance opportunity for Avila and the rest of the Lady Air defenders. Tonko defending Bernardo. Spin move. Priya the jumper. No good. She gets her own miss. And she draws the foul. As Joe Ong gets called for that foul. Fria Bernardo, a chance to extend the lead for the Lady Air Defenders, although she misses the first free throw. Ewan Arai back in the ball game for Zal Mateo. Trying to provide some veteran presence for the Lady Sailors. In this comeback bid. One of two from the foul line is Karen or Fria Bernardo. Deal back up to five points. Tonko inside. No good against Almazan. Josephine Ong keeps possession. Arai putting the moves on defenders. And there was a foul. Bernardo gets called for the blocking foul. Antiquiera for three. Uh, just, a, just a long two. We'll confirm. Officials reviewing on that foul. A long two. Looks like she stepped on the line. But again, Trixie Antiquiera, we talked about her, the potential for long bomb. She is showing that potential right now with that long bomb clearly stepping on the line. As the ref reviewing that play. Susay Avila gets called for a regular foul. As Trixie with the three point play opportunity. And she doesn't convert. But the Lady Sailors are there to convert. Courtesy of Chovi Borja to clean up the mess. And don't look now, but the lead is down to one. 
Less than seven minutes to go in this game. The Sultai inside. She gets it to go. Tough shot against Arai. Still managing to get it. Antiquiera on the other end. No go on the three. The Sultai diving for that loose ball. And jump ball is called. The Sultai remarkable move to keep the ball in possession. Sultai and Antiquiera jumping it up. And the ball goes to the Lady Air defenders. But not yet. Another jump ball appears to be called. This time between Antiquiera and Avila. Lady Air Defenders fans cheering on their team as their lead only down to three points with six minutes remaining in this game. Lady Sailors completing that defensive play, forcing the PSI Lady Air Defenders to a backward or violation taking too long to cross or failing to get it across half court at another turnover that time Cindy Resultai perfectly timing that pass and going for that steal. Lady Sailors keep possession. And Antiquiera no good. Mendoza in the right place at the right time. Finally, much needed offense from the team captain, Janelle Mendoza. Lead is down to one. Bernardo, miscommunication leading to a turnover by the PSI Air Force. Antiquera with the miss, but Mendoza, after trailing most of the way, and surely the Lady Air Defenders want to talk it over. After giving up that lead, take a look at this Chovy Bora three-point basket. Suddenly, the Lady Sailors are now on top. Back to the ball game. Chovy Borra has been the workhorse so far for the Lady Sailors. Soaring high with 15 points on 6 of 10 shooting from the field. 
providing offense when the Lady Sailors need it most. As they are now on top with five minutes, less than five minutes to go in this game. Pressure D by the Lady Sailors. Stripped by Borja, ends up in a steal. Avila with a counter steal. Fast break opportunity converted by Susay Avila. Ball game is tied once again. Exciting ball game we have with us. Semifinals living up to expectations in the WNBL as Bora another three. This time different result for Chovy Borja. Risa Paig. Bercado wanting to go for that steal. Ball is loose. Ball ends up in the hands of Borja. Borja against Columna. No good. Karen trying to keep possession, but the ball stays with the Lady Sailors. Again, Karen Columna hitting a wall in the form of Chovy Borja, and she loses the leather. Mercado. Mendoza, another short stab. Janelle Mendoza coming alive when it matters most for the Lady Sailors. Four points in this fourth quarter as the Lady Sailors get the lead. Cindy. Columna. Forcing it. No good. Five the rebound. Resultai inside, no good, but the foul was drawn by Cindy. Tonko gets called for that foul. Cindy. Uh, she drew Andrea Tonko's fourth in the in and out on her first attempt. Coach Alvin Zuniga trying to lead the PSI Air Force again to a sweep of this best of three. But the Lady Sailors are still on top. Cindy, an empty trip on the foul line. Keeping the Lady Sailors up by two. Antiquiera pushing foul, call on her. Sailors have a chance to regain the lead. Timeout called. We'll be right back. Back to the ball game. Again, the fans here enjoying an exciting women's action ball game between the Lady Sailors and the Lady Air Defenders as Cindy Resultai and the rest of the Air Force Lady Air Defenders trying to protect this one-point lead. Tonko misses that three-point try. Lady Air Defenders 
a chance to extend this lead. Less than two minutes remaining in this game. Officials reviewing that last play. Bendia against Borja who touched it last. Hard to see from this angle. Looks like it was last touch by Bandia but still the referees are reviewing the play Tra Chovi Borja trying to keep her team alive As the referees decide it was Borja who touched it last as the ladies air defenders keep possession. Back to the ball game, Karen Kolumna hitting some early three pointers, and we'll see if she can continue her three point bomb. Priya Bernardo, no good on that three point attempt, but Bendia powers her way inside. Ana Bendia giving the Lady Air Defenders a three point lead. Antiquera, Borja, momentarily losing possession. Move it around, Antiquera for three, no go. Lady Sailors keep it, but Tonko appeared to step out of bounds. Referees bound to review this play. Take a look at it again. Karen Columna and Andrea Tonko battling for possession and it appeared Tonko stepped out of bounds. And ball goes the other way. As the lady air defenders talk it out. Back to the ball game. Chavi Borja trying to give out instructions to her teammates as they try to continue this comeback and erase this three point lead by the Lady Air Defenders. One minute and ten remaining in the game. Tonko with a near deflection that time. 
Almazan forcing it. Still getting it to go. Ambi Almazan. A huge basket that time for the Lady Air Defenders as the lead is back to five. Almazan blowing by Mendoza and still getting it to go against Borja. Tough shot, tough conversion. Another review. Passing to the back of Ambi Almazan and getting rewarded with a foul and two free throws. Although Ewan misses her first free throw. And Piquera coming, coming out as Mercado. Coming in this crucial juncture of the fourth quarter. An empty trip for Ewan Arai. Wasted opportunity by the Lady Sailors, but a traveling violation called on that Cindy Resultai or Fri Fria Bernardo. Resultai, rather. An ankle injury apparently being suffered that time by Cindy Resultai. She's walking it off. Remember back to the ball game. Ambi Almazan and the rest of the lady. Air Defenders trying to sustain this lead as you take a look at our game reset. Lady Air Defenders with still one full timeout left while the Lady Sailors with only one 30 second timeout left but, and they have one foul to give. So that's the situation with 46.8 seconds left in this ball game. They need a quick shot this time. No good that time for Antiquiera. This will tie the rebound. Ber Bernardo throws it to Buendia who completes the fast break opportunity huge bucket that time for Buendia and the lead is back to 7 for the Lady Air Defenders Mateo open for 3 she draws that foul she was hit on the way down possibly 3 free throws coming up for Zal Mateo. The Sultai hacking her from behind. But Mateo appears to be hurt. That she if he can she can walk it off. Nothing serious apparently. A huge opportunity for Jal Mateo and the Lady Sailors. A last ditch effort for the Lady Sailors in this juncture of the ball game. However, she misses the first free throw. Second one is good. And another one coming up. Joe Ong coming in for Ewan Arai for some playmaking, added playmaking for the Lady Sailors. 
Two for three from the foul line. Lead is down to five. But Resulta is free on the other end. Doesn't go but draws the foul. Resulta catching the defense sleeping. Cindy Resultai chance to ice this game for PSI. Short on the first attempt. Second free throw. Cindy, she gets it to go and it's a six point lead for the Lady Air Defenders. 16.8 seconds remaining. the ball game the lady air defenders poised to come out with a victory in the first final seat as they are poised to sustain their winning streak PSI still with one full timeout left and that will come in handy if the lady sailors get a basket here Mateo quick trigger another foul was called Will this be another three free throws for Zal Mateo? Ana Buendia apparently an unnecessary foul. And yes, three free throws are indeed coming the way of Zal Mateo. Trying to inch closer. 14.6 seconds to go. Mateo. First one is in. Second one is also good for Zal Mateo. Lead is down to four. This game is not yet over. And another chance, another shot. We'll make this a one possession game. This is a big one. And though a miss, but lane violation appears to be called on Ambi Almazan. And a fourth and final free throw awarded for Zal Mateo. Another huge opportunity for the Lady Sailors. And she gets it to go, a one possession game. Just a three point lead for the Lady Air Defenders. Can they keep this lead? A foul was called. Tonko gets called for pushing foul. Sending Cindy Rusultai to the foul line. Cindy again can seal this game in this free throw trip. Again, Lady Air Defenders with a full timeout left. But the Lady Sailors have no timeouts to go. Alvin Zuniga again trying to make sure they sustain their winning streak. And a chance to clinch the first finals berth. Uh, Cindy makes it a two possession ball game with that first free throw make.
Cindy. The second one is also good. Two for two. And it's a five-point game. 11.2 seconds left. Borja. Mateo for three. Wide left. Another possession, Tonko. And the final buzzer sounds. And the final, first final spot is secured courtesy of the PSI Air Force Lady Air Defenders surviving the Navy Lady Sailors 80 to 75. We'll be right back with the best player of the game. Okay. the ball game again the lady air defenders pulling off an 80 to 75 victory over the lady sailors to clinch the first finals berth in the WNBL and one of the main reasons why is the, our best player of the game the surge fitness and lifestyle best player of the game Karen Columna hitting some big three pointers in this game and siempre sustaining that push in the final fourth period Karen congrats and uh, how na siyempre hungrier team ang ano masabi natin hungrier team yung uh, Navy kasi nga down sila sa series but how are you able to show na hungry pa rin kayo to sweep this series um siyempre nag-usap kami ayaw na rin namin ng game 3 so kailangan focus kami lalo na sa defense and yun talaga yung yung ano yung pinaka goal namin yung defense para sa kasi after ng pag magandang defense magandang offense na yung kasunod so mas pinag nag nagbigay lang namin yung best namin lalo lang lang sa defense talaga eight game winning streak na kayo ngayon tapos na sa finals how do you feel of your chances na kayo na sa unang finals pa? um in, syempre di hindi kami pwedeng mag relax lalo na ngayon um may may break kami kasi mag waiting kami kalaban sa championship so focus lang ulit kami sa training and Kung ano yung pinapagawa ng coaches namin, yun lang din yung gagawin namin. Uh, dahil ikaw best player, may gusto kang uh, i-greet? Uh, binabati ko nga pala yung family ko sa Quezon City and sa Kainta. Si Tatay, kay Kuya Owi, Ate Ayram, si Tala, si Mama Coco, and lahat ng sumusuporta sa sa Air Force Women's Basketball Team. And lalo na sa, sa commander namin, si Colonel Sevilla, and sa manager namin, si Major General... <laughs> Major General Malinit, sir, maraming salamat sir. And sa Skylight, thank you for accommodating us. Uh, best player, uh, ako si Karen Bernisi, kolumna WNBL, ang tunay na liga ng atletang Pilipina. And there you have it, our best player of the game, Karen Columna, showing the way for the Lady Air Defenders in their five-point victory over the Lady Sailors, clinching the first finals berth. So let's take a look at some of the highlights of the ball game between the Lady Sailors and the Lady Air Defenders. Mm -hmm. Soar high or sail forth. And it was clearly soaring high for Karen Columna and the rest mm -hmm. of the Lady Air Defenders. But in the early goings, Andrea Tonko mm -hmm. and Lomogda. Karen Lomogda had mm -hmm. other plans trying to extend this series with their early mm -hmm. baskets. But again, Karen Columna was there when they needed it the most. As PSI already with a five point lead after one. Josephine Ong with that circus shot, still getting it to go. 
in that one of the highlights of the second quarter. Avila, also one of the key players for the Lady Air Defenders. Mercado also showing up for the Lady Sailors. Still, it was a six-point lead for Lady Air Defenders at the half. But Columna picking up from where she left off in the first half with an early three-point basket. Lomogda also showing up. And Joe Ong keeping the Lady Sailors within striking distance. Just a three-point lead for the Air Defenders. And it has been the story. It has, has been a close game all throughout. But Karen Columna and Cindy Resultai came up with the most crucial baskets down the stretch. Including that one from Ana Buendia to score an 80-75 to victory and clinch the first finals berth in the WNBL. Now don't go away. It's men's action up next between the Laguna Pistons and, and the Taguig Generals going up in the lone, the first and only battle in our NBL quarterfinal. So don't go away. My name